Hey y'all, the war with the YouTube algorithm rages on. If you want to take part in the war effort, then hit the like button, subscribe, and leave a comment saying, I'm doing my part. With your help, we will beat the system. Join the Six Figure Army today, and let's hit 100,000 subscribers. And hey, just so you know, we've got new merch, I mean, uniforms in our store for you to wear as well. Anyways, thank you for your service, and enjoy the video. Stop fights with the toughest bastards in the yard. But I was the one with the step in and finish him. Expository dialogue to let us know he's even worse than him. In case you weren't catching on. I mean, even if I would say the, the bigger hint is that this is Jason Statham. <laughs> he's considerably much more expensive than most actors. Come on, Tom. So where are you taking me? The middle of the desert so I can kill you. Couldn't get rid of you the last time. God damn it. I had to keep up appearances. Bring you back. They say an open road helps you think. What? They say an open road helps you think. Who says that? They. Schizophrenic? You having ha auditory hallucinations or something? I've never heard anybody say that. I mean, sure, I've heard people say I like to sometimes go for a drive so I can have some peace and think. In, you know, in the quiet, but I've never heard someone say specifically, an open road helps you think. Oh, where you been? Where you going? I am 14, and this is deep! It's a, it feels like a nothing statement, but okay. You just earned yourself a dance with the devil boy. You're under arrest. <laughs> Have you danced with the devil in the pale moonlight? Well, apparently, Jason Statham is going to be able to answer yes to that question. Like I said, I'm here for the team that crippled my brother. What? Hurry. Oh boy, you're under arrest. Like I said, I'm here for the team that crippled my brother. You didn't say sh about that. When did you mention that? You didn't say that to him. Sorry, you didn't see me pointing. Do they proofread their scripts? There we go. Hey, buddy. Car's on fly. Um, okay, that's interesting. I didn't know that was in the movie, but that is very clearly foreshadowing to something that happens later on in the movie. <laughs> that caught me off guard. You didn't tell him, did you? You gotta tell him. Are you sure? Well, how long has she known? You might have just found out yesterday. She did say nine months. I don't want him to be disappointed with his life. With me. What? <laughs> That's an unusual concern to have. Brian literally has nearly died multiple times. To at the very least be with you, whether it's in a peaceful setting or not. Deckard Shaw. British special. <laughs> He's doing the voice. Deckard Shaw. Like, if I was playing Dominic Toretto, this would be my voice all of the time. Except less croaky, like I'm going through puberty for a second time. I'm Dominic Toretto. <laughs> that was a bad time for a burp. How do I find him? The official answer is, you don't. He killed Han, almost killed my family. He also tried to put me in a body bag, too. He said the official answer. He hadn't gotten to the unofficial answer. Also, how the hell does he know he killed Han? The f***? How does he have that kind of information? We didn't see him learn about that. There wasn't, like, a moment of him... That's like in f***ing The Last Jedi, where we don't even get to see Luke mourn Han's death, who is also called Han. That's a weird coincidence. That's... Yeah, I'm getting ticked off. Thinking about the sequel trilogy is going to actually tick me off even more. This, this movie's going to tick me off. I would actually... I'm pretty sure I'm going to enjoy this movie more than I did the sequel trilogy. Which is not setting the bar particularly high. Looks like the sins of London have followed us home. How'd the bus to take the news? I can't tell him. What, 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 what? The sins of London have followed us home. My brother in Christ? What, what sins? You know what? Don't answer that. This guy's just... Relentless. Relentless. He attacked you twice. Well, actually, he attacked you once and Hobbs once. He's already relentless? 
How do you know that? That's a weird thing to say. You could say ruthless, not relentless. Listen, Dom, there's a war going on between shadows and ghosts like me. You and your team unwittingly walked into the middle of it in London, and it appears it's now followed you home. It's up to you. I'm going to have a beer. What's up to you? He didn't, he didn't even make... You didn't offer him anything. You can't... Are these people f***ing telepathic? Do they just speak when they feel like it, but then get the rest of their information from their brain to the next brain in front of them? What? <laughs> I don't have telepathic powers. What did you just offer him? A ride? A beer? A hand job? I'm confused. Again. Ah. <laughs> uh, holy sh**. <laughs> I'm trying to commentate on this movie, and either I'm really tired, or the way this movie is set up makes it really difficult to compose my thoughts because there's no composure in this movie. But it'll be my way and my crew. I assumed you might say that, which is why I've taken the liberty of gathering your team. How convenient. Almost, that's, like, annoyingly convenient. Yes, I already knew what you're going to say. And yes, you know what I'm going to say. And yes... Oh... It's hard to pause and commentate and come up with criticisms or jokes to make when it's just the same joke and criticism. The writing is just so weird. It's like Dom's in a coma. This is just his wet dream or his fever dream. I'm not sure. Might be a bit of both. Can you ride? Yeah, of course I can. Han was my family too. Was he? Why? Okay, I, I, I dread to ask how many times there are going to be moments where they're going to allude to things that have happened off screen that imply, that have significant implications, like saying, Letty saying, Han was family too. Not in the last movie, at least not for like, maybe the last 10 minutes, maybe? But you really didn't have a connection to him. So, what changed? Ex-cop, military, something like that. The way you took out them guys shows training. Are we about to have expository dialogue again about characters we've been dealing with for seven movies? Let's see. Tech guy, offended by the hacker remark, naturally. <laughs> Alpha. Mrs. Alpha. Joker. Wrong. <laughs> well, a Joker's a wild card, but also, yes. Double alpha. Man candy. You know what I'm saying? Man, such <laughs> candy. <laughs> Damn, man. Jesus Christ. Isn't that, yeah, that's a dynamic that's going to go on for the rest of the fucking franchise. Them pawn fawning, not pawning, fawning after, after her. Okay, so this is how it works. We gotta move in sync if we're gonna pull this off, so let's go over it to make sure everyone clear. What, 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 what? Stop going over the plan as the plan is supposed to be being executed in, in the moment. I get that it's for the viewer, but when you think about it, it just seems really dumb. Like, let's go over the plan beforehand and then see you guys try and pull it off. Because then what you can do is you can have something go wrong, deviate from the plan, and still keep things fresh and exciting. Be like, this is our intended plan. But we're going to have some wild card moments where we just w won't be able to control what's happening. Like, do that. Not f***ing... Uh, this. Would you believe I knocked him out with my charm? <laughs> you need that charming bitch. Neither are you. <laughs> Thank God you showed up. These parties bore me to death. Not every fighter and wrestler makes a good actor. Thank God you showed up. Then the del that delivery was awful. <laughs> I, she should have just said, I'm glad you showed up. I was getting bored. Not, thank God you show up. These parties bore me to death. You're not going to want to hear what I have to say. Try that Belgian ale, man. It's something special. Belgian ale, huh? This is the conversation you want to be having? I carry my own health insurance. They're already inbound. Pull over, kid. 
got a good rescue network. I want his insurance. I'm 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 with USAA right now. Gun. We got a whole city, and we may have more than that. If they use guys. What? What? What are you, the mayor? Are you Arnold Schwarzenegger? No, 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 he was the governor or something, wasn't he? If they use God's eye, it'll tap the cameras around town to find our location. Which means we could plant a virus. And then break... What virus? The f*** are you talking? What virus? There are so many moments in this movie where someone will say something or infer to some piece of information or refer, I should say, and or say something with some kind of implication or needed context that we as the viewer don't have. And sometimes they do it where it's like, it's the, the gap of information uh, is like milliseconds, where they, they're talking about one thing and suddenly they're talking about another. Like, can't remember what it was, where someone said, my offer's on the table. And I'm like, you just met and you didn't offer him anything. I'm confused. Got her. Target acquired. She's riding shotgun in a blue GTR. Okay. The last car we see... The second last car we see Brian drive. That would be terrifying, seeing one of those f***ing things coming towards you like that. How many cars? Uh, none. And that's kind of the problem. <laughs> Just say it's a helicopter. You don't need to be dramatic. This is a life or death situation. You need to speak quickly and clearly. 